Hey, so I really wanted to just do a quick demo of uh, a cool little hack for Avid. Uh, so uh, often you get into a situation where you want to be able to control where Avid's media is going and renders are going, things like that, and have a bit more uh, ability to keep things in the places that you want them. Uh, but if you're uh, working on the road and you're only working on one drive, that can become a real pain. Uh, so if you're wanting to be uh, able to organize everything into a more structured uh, system, this is one way to do it without having to go and format a drive and deal with partitioning space and things like that. So I have a single drive here and the media drives that I want to create are, uh, let's just do a uh, projects. Render rushes uh, offline media and let's do an online just for the sake of it. So uh, these are all my folders, and obviously, Avid natively won't actually allow me to direct it to those folders to uh, create Avid media to, uh, but a really cool way to get around that if I open terminal is uh, this little command here so I'll put this in the comments on the YouTube video uh, but you can uh, see that there uh, so if I just run this this is going to create a loop back on my system so even when I'm not connected to a network or anything I'm going to be able to connect to my own computer um, let's pop in my password and that's all done. So now if I jump into my sharing settings and pop in these folders, uh, obviously I can control my, uh, my permissions for those however I like. Uh, that's, once that's done, uh, if I connect to the server, and I can do this via SMB or AFP, it doesn't really matter, uh, I now have access to all of the drives that I would, that my user has access to. So uh, for the sake of this, if we go uh, rushes, render, projects, online, offline, and I can mount all those, now they will all work like any normal AVA drive. So if I open Media Composer, I link to a piece of media. If I wanted to say transcode that to one of those drives, they now pop up here just like any other media drive. So I could transcode that down to my offline partition to whatever I like. Let's just do some low bandwidth for the sake of it. Uh, off that goes. And that is all working as you would expect it to with media going to the Avid Media Files folder and everything working. So that's it. Really quick, easy way to get slightly better organization within Media Composer.